I'd be speculating a lot if I were to expand on that, and I don't want to. So they didn't break it down specifically for you. They just said it. I mean, they did, but I would rather you hear from them because, to me, in my head, it's so. I don't know, out of the blue, it's so unfounded, it's so, you know, it, it doesn't have any basis, so uh, I, I don't, I can't figure it out, so the reasons that I read in the letter, to me are so, I don't know, they just, they don't fit, it doesn't match, it doesn't, I don't understand it, so I'd rather not even comment because it who actually, so. who actually heard the appeal? Who actually continued the appeal? I was a part of the appeal. No, I was I mean, in there. Was it, was the same, was it the same judge that handed out the sentence that heard the appeal? I mean, it's not a judge, it's an MLB employee. I know, but who is it? It's, uh, McHale. Yeah. Were you in there with, the, with your agent in the PA, or was it what was the PA? Not my agent. Can you uh, say what arguments you made in your defense? Well, I can say that I've provided more than 20 examples of previous situations where the runner was you know, more at fault of taking part in a bad slide where contact was made, injuries were coming out of the place, and there was never suspensions or fines. And on the other hand, they only proved, they only showed three examples of situations that don't even fit the same play. There were plays at the plate, plays on first base, and one play in between first and second that, I don't know. It didn't, didn't seem to be relevant to my situation, but again, I guess you, you guys have had to ask them and get an answer from, from them. And I guess with them, I mean, uh, Michael, uh, I would love to to really see what I have to say also. Was the other slide one of the uh, things that you put forward as new defense? Um, no, I didn't have to. I mean, that one was so evident that you don't even need to, to put it in there. But... I could have if I chose to. I definitely would have helped my case, but we had so much that we didn't feel the need to. I don't know. They mentioned it, but they didn't say that this is why or this is why not. I don't know. You, you guys have to ask them. They didn't specify which post-game comments were inappropriate in their eyes? Um, not really. I mean, I didn't get the sense of exactly what was that I said that was wrong. Other than you know, taking the time out of my day to make sure that people understood why I acted or reacted the way that I reacted. I didn't say anything more than that. So other than explaining my act, my actions, I guess I didn't really talk much. So. His situation is his situation. I can't say that I agree with it, but he's got his right to appeal, and apparently he either has friends in high places or that organization does, or he did a really good job of convincing them that I don't even know what. I, them, they, he convinced them of something. Uh, given, given that MLB doesn't explain these kind of decisions, why are you unwilling to tell us what they told you? I'm not unwilling. I think you should ask them. I don't have to give you details of a personal letter that's addressed to me if I don't feel like I want to. But you can get the answer from them if you really want to get to know the truth. Like I said, what the reasons that they gave me, I feel like are unfounded and 
Well, the, re the, de the decision to uphold the suspension is unfounded, and the reasons they gave me were in situations that were relevant and not comparable to, to mine. So I don't have to get into details, and I, feel, I think that's fair enough. Yeah, they, they did that for me. That's what they paid to, pay to do.